welcome to this video this video it's a remake of a previous video that I did a few days ago about uh, the 16 levels plus time stretch and the thing the, the reason why I'm remaking the video it's because 2.0.6 just came out and with that feature uh, with 2.0.6 now you actually have the uh, ability to um, time stretch straight from the touch you don't need to go into the software to actually time stretch the sound you can do it straight from the mpc touch and so 2.0.6 i have just a drum beat right here in track one okay we're going to, we're going to be using that just to layer uh, a couple of sounds on top of the beat so let's go here to the uh, track number two and we have some samples okay I'm going to time stretch uh, using the 16 levels and warping the sound so I'm going to just choose the sound first thing I'm going to do is going to go into warp and put the pad to warp And as you can see now, the uh, the pad is warped, and we can go now into 16 levels, and we can just play with it. So we can uh, increase the pitch, lower the pitch, and just play with that. And as you can see, uh, they have exactly the same length. Uh, the the um, the previous 16 levels behavior. What it would do was it was it would expand the sound and then it would uh, shorten the sound. But with time stretch, it always plays the same exact length of the sound. It just pitches up and down accordingly to the notes. Okay, you, we're going to just record these two in. Now, and the cool thing that we guys now that we have the uh, sound warped and uh, be careful because even though we're playing in 16s if you want to choose the pad you have to hit on the, the exact pad where the original sound is uh, stored in so it's the pad a5 okay and now we can go here and actually tweak some few more parameters I'm actually going to go into the to the semi notes there and just you know lower the pitch of it and you'll see that the the uh, time of the sample stays exactly the same it doesn't matter if you if you you know put the uh, pitch down or put the pitch up it's always the same time for that sound specific time of the exact sample So this is basically just the uh, the review of that video that I did uh, previously. So much easier, you know, it's so easy to do it now, stretch from the touch. Basically, you just select the pad. I'm going to go out of 16 levels. And you can just select the pad. Warp it. So you select the pad. Warp it. Now we'll go to 16 levels. And that's it. You just, you know, select the sound, warp it out, 16 levels, and it's done. 
always within the same time of the sample. It doesn't shorten it if you go higher in the pitch. It doesn't make it longer if you go lower in the pitch. It stays always the same size of the sample. So you can use 16 levels that way. It's such a handy tool, very quick. You don't need to have a piano roll to play the notes. You can just go straight to the pass here on the 16 levels. You know, you find your note. Also, you can go straight to the program edit, or this is one way of doing it, menu, program edit, or if you can just tap straight there, it takes you to the screen right there. And you can even tap there and play again with the semis, play with the notes. Just remember that you touch the original pad because if you touch another pad, you're going to be, you know, moving the parameters of the other pad. So always touch on the original pad that has the sound. So it's also good to know one thing. If you want to actually, you know, warp the entire program, you can do that. Just go there and select all the paths, close that, go back into the warp function, and you just tap. Now, sorry, go out of 16 levels. Now, all the paths are warped. And you can time stretch it all together, all of them. So if you tap on the BPM sync, all of them will be obviously not working with the BPM sync. Okay, let's go. Let's go here to the program. Sorry, and let's go here to the uh, master it's in polyphony, and let's put all of them into polyphony. Sorry, that's not what I want to do. Mono, I want to put them all into mono. So they cut each other, okay? It's playing monophonically, only one sound plays at a time within this program. And whilst that is selected to all, once you change one thing on a pad, it will change everything. It will change the same exact parameter for all the pads on the program, okay? So if I go here to the samples, play with that. basically that's it in a nutshell very simple you know select the pattern you want warp it touch the 16 levels and just play with it very simple very basic such a great tool to use now straight available from the MPC touch right there obviously MPC live and the MPC X they also have this tool available to it and uh, this is also on the RAN as well and on a studio not quite sure how it's uh, laid out on the LCD screen, but I definitely know it's available for you guys as well. They're using the REN and the studio. So that's it. Remake of the video that I had previously. I hope that you, some of you guys got some of uh, these tips and going to use it on your drum uh, beats because it's uh, definitely something that you should be using at the moment on the MPC 2.0.6. Guys, take care. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.